hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back sharing with you what i got for my 26th birthday <sighs> let me just take a minute and have a drink um i don't even know where to start so when i'm filming this it's actually my birthday i started vlogging this morning and at like half past 10 11 o'clock i was like you know what I don't really feel like sharing my day because my day didn't go according to plan. Now for me, I prefer birthdays to Christmas. Birthdays are my thing, I just love them. I think they're so special. And our plans didn't really go to plan. So Neil told me in January that he booked my, my birthday off work. Yesterday, uh, I got a phone call. Uh, I've got some really bad news. All right, okay, what's the bad news? thought i booked your birthday off and i didn't <laughs> so i uh, today wasn't as planned but it's actually turned out to be a really really nice day so originally i think we we're going to go to cambridge and just spend the day as a family neil luckily managed to take the morning off of work and then he arranged for myself and ellie to go to a little cafe have a cup of tea have some cake um we both had childcare, and it was so nice to be with my best friend and not have children around it was perfect and it's actually worked out for the better my mother-in-law has got pee today um my mother-in-law has had pee from about one o'clock this afternoon and he actually asked to sleep over at her house tonight so like i said it's worked in our favor we're going to go out for a meal tonight we're going to go to tgi's so if you're wondering if and when there's going to be a birthday vlog there's not going to be one um i just haven't really wanted to film and the weather is horrific so i'm just going to sit down and share with you what i got for my birthday it's about five o'clock and i've got about half an hour until neil comes home so i thought you know what i may as well sit it sit down and share with you what i've got and then i can put it all away because i like putting stuff away so i don't quite know where to begin because i've got bits from everyone i'm going to start off with my book club girls because i did not expect to get anything from them um last year they very kindly and very generously gifted me i can't even believe they still did it they gave me a kindle paperwhite which i use pretty much every day and it's the best gift i have ever received was not expecting anything this time um but they they know me down to a tea so they got me some really nice biscuits and some twinings tea which is just perfect and then they gifted me a lovely Kath Kisten mug which is so generous they didn't need to do it i don't have one like this and this is the perfect size for like a morning tea. I have the really big ones, which I have in the evening, but this is a perfect morning breakfast mug. So it's got a little cat on it and a bee, and it's got scallop detailing around the edge, and it's pink, and I just love it. So book club girls, thank you very much. You're very generous, and you don't need to keep buying me stuff. I appreciate it, but I also feel incredibly guilty. Neil took P to Sainsbury's, and was like, I'm gonna let her buy or i'm gonna pay for whatever p picks i wish i had my birthday card here i don't have it she picked the funniest card i'll put a picture here if i take a picture of it probably won't um and p walked into sainsbury's and said that she knows that mummy likes candles so she picked up some candles for me and he said that she went around and smelled every single candle and was like this is the one that mummy will like so i've got lavender and geranium little candle from sainsbury's really pretty i like the um the glass of this smells really nice i'll put that one in the bedroom and then she also got me um a little candle oil which i use all the time this one is actually one of my favorites from sainsbury's jasmine and pineapple flower so she did really well picking these out and then she also got me some chocolate and this is one of my favorite chocolate bag things crunchy rocks banging if you've never had these try them they're insane so that's my little gift from p very very sweet brother and sister-in-law the people i do the score for i've got the boys i just speak about it on my vlogs they kindly gifted me a 20 pounds next voucher which i'm obviously going to use in the next sale in july which i cannot wait for and the boys wanted to buy me a little extra because they're just so sweet and they got me a little yankee candle candle um in stony cove so that's what that looks like it smells like um like a spa it's a really really nice smelling candle i'll probably use this in the bathroom so I'm very lucky and spoiled by them. I thought it was really sweet. Uh, I was like, you didn't need to buy me anything extra. And they were like, no, we really wanted to. So the boys got me a little candle, which just goes a long way in my heart. 
My mum also got me some really nice bits this year. So she, I've never seen it before, I've actually spent it. Um, and I'll show you that in a little while. Uh, I got a £15 gift card from Primark. Um, if you're not aware, my mum can't really move very far. So the only place where she can go to like get me gifts is Sainsbury's. Um, so I always ask for like just little bits because I know she can't spend a lot and she can't go far. But Primark, like you know like the voucher things, they do one for Primark, so I was so happy to receive a voucher for Primark. Um, I also got gifted, where is the extra bit here? Um, again, Sainsbury's Home Fragrance I absolutely love. So I've got a scented room spray in Peony and Blush Rose. I've never had a room spray before, um, so this looks pretty cool. So I'll probably just spray it on bedding, you know how I do like the Lenore spray that Mrs Hinch I want to say invented but she didn't so I've got one of those and I really like the packaging it smells lovely so I'll spray that on like my sofas and stuff and then um the matching candle oil which I love peony and blush rose there we go so you literally just get like an oil burner you can get them in Poundland or home bags and then you put this in the top you do maybe like four or five drops and then fill it with water and then put an unscented tea light in the bottom um, and it just fragrances the whole room and I use these all the time I've always used them because my mum does so I was really happy to receive those this is like a new range this is like the older style and this is the newer one so really really happy with those what else did mum get me she got me some basic vests I know it's such a weird present but it's always needed not a massive fan of the tan color but underneath the jumper you're never going to see it and I've also got a black and a white so these are from Sainsbury's a little three pack so I really really like those I like gifts that are useful and um like I like receiving gifts that I don't like buying for myself which you'll see I've asked Neil to get me a lot of like basic stuff which is cheap, but it's stuff that I don't like paying for myself. Um, and then mum also got me some chocolate, which I've left up on the table. And then she asked me what I would like. Um, and obviously, because I know she can't walk around that far, she, I asked for books. And she got me the books that I asked for. So I've got the new Lucy Diamond, which is something to tell you. Not 100% sure on the cover. I feel like this looks like an arc. It's a very basic cover for a Lucy Diamond book. Um... And she's changed the font so it's not going to match my Lucy Diamond books on the shelf. But it is what it is. Um, I feel like I've also been saying it is what it is so much more now that it's being said on Love Island. I don't know if anyone else has been like that. I'm going to put that there so you can pause it in case um, that is a book that you would like to read. There we go. And then I've obviously got the new Carol. I want to say it's new but it's not. It came out... I think it was late February, um, but that came in hardback and I only ever get these in paperback. Um, my friend has just read this, Emmy, and she said she absolutely loved it. So this is The Happiness for Beginners. It's about um, a lady runs a farm for alter an alter as an alternative school for children who haven't th thrived in mainstream education. Oh, sounds really good. So I'm really happy to get that. So that is everything that my mum got me. I kindly gifted sort of money and vouchers and stuff from like family members. But now I'm just going to sit down and show you what I got given by Neil. So let's start with this bag because this is like the essential little bits bag. So in here... I have got some body wash. I know it's really random, but this is the type of thing that I ask for. This is um, jasmine and vanilla. Really like that smell. I've got a lot of time for jasmine scent, so I'm really, really happy with that. I've got a toothbrush because I need it. It's like a stocking. I like stocking presents. Deodorant, because I always need deodorant. I know it's weird, but it's just what I enjoy. So I've got invisible dry deodorant from Dove. He kindly gifted me some um, bath bombs. I went along like the whole skincare, self-care, pamper sesh route this year. I just wanted little bits that I could treat myself like I've had a shit day. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to have a bath and I'm going to use my, my bath bomb. So these are from Home Bargains, I know because I shop there. So we've got the mango one, we've got the lavender. Can you see that? Probably not. There we go. And then we've also got the rose. So I was very lucky to receive 
all of those. I asked for some wax melts. I normally ask for Yankee Candle, but I've just got so many of those that I need to work through. And I'm not gonna lie, my favorite ones are the ones from Home Bugs in the little pots. Um, I find them really easy to get out of the wax, um, the wax melt burners. So I use the oil burners and I also have wax melt burners as well. Um, these are, it's probably weird I know the price, but I buy them myself. They're 29p a pot and you can maybe get three uses. I break them in half instead of reusing them. Um, so I really like them, they're good little gifts. So I've got one in Thai orchid, white jasmine, that's probably not gonna focus, there we go. Pink rose, there we go. Vanilla pudding, and then I've got two more, rich berries and fresh linen, like that. Just really nice little gifts, and I like it when it's a rainy day like today just lighting my candles, making my house smell all nice and just comfy, and I love my little wax melts, so I'm really happy with those. Neil also picked up some chocolate for me, so I've got some minstrels and some fudge minis. I just love chocolate, so that can add to my stash. And then he kindly, I really liked this, so he was like, so last night when he was wrapping up my gifts, Neil was like, I need a box. So what for? He's like, I want to do something, but I'm not going to tell you what. So this morning, he obviously didn't want to wrap everything individually, which I get. He did me um, a little care box, like a little pamper stash box, which I loved. So inside, again, items I asked for, which is really weird. I'm so excited to own a shower cap. I have a shower now. I haven't had a shower in like four and a half years because our old house didn't have one. I shower daily, but I don't wash my hair daily. I needed a shower cap, so this is from Primark. It's got hearts over it, and I just think it's really, really cool. It's something that I needed, and I'm so excited to use a shower cap. So that's the small things in life that make me smile. So I've got myself a shower cap. I also have um, a new headband. So, um, so when I am cleaning my face and cleansing and doing all my skincare stuff, which I'm into at the moment, I've got a new little one of these because I'm going through those like no tomorrow. He also got me one of these things which I took out of the packaging. I think I threw the packaging in the bin. Um, I think he said it was a like pound. You just put it in the fridge and then you put it over your eyes like this. And it's supposed to cool your, your, your eyes down. I just thought it was cool. So that's pink. Yeah, I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it on for, but I just thought it was really cool. So I'm going to put that in my fridge. Cotton pads, essential. I always ask for these. These are only 90p. I could buy them myself, but Neil gifted them to me instead. So I've got some of those. I've got some face masks. So we've got a Manuka honey one. We've got passion peel off. And then we've also got cucumber peel off. So like I said, I'm just into like me i just want stuff to pamper myself i've got some new micellar water because i just needed some this is from poundland never had this one before but i'm excited to give that one a try um i've got a foot pack so glamorous and then i also needed some bits for my nails so i needed some new lint-free wipes which is the things that you use to remove your nail like your gel nails and um once you take the like the once you've buffed it, you wipe it with these. And if you use cotton wool, their fibers tend to get stuck on your nails. Um, so I think he got these off eBay. And then from Poundland, he also picked up the gel nail remover. I'm currently, or I was using the Miley one, which is like 10 pounds for a prep and a remover. So expensive, this is a pound. So we've got this instead now. So fingers crossed this works well. So I'm really happy to have that. And then I said to Neil, look, I'd really appreciate some new gel nail colours. And because even though it's my birthday, I still like to find the best deal for whoever is buying it for me. Um, so I found some new gel nail colours. I have never used this brand before. I always stick to Blue Sky, Olulac or Shinalac. But they have since then gone up in price on Amazon and eBay. So there's this brand called Canny on eBay and it's buy three... No, it's three for two and they're three pounds 25 each. So you can get three gel colors for six, six pounds 50, which is very, very cheap because a blue sky is normally 650 on its own. So 
I don't know how they're going to be. I'll probably put them on my Instagram or something and let you know how I find them. So I've got this one, which is uh, number 78. There's like 250 colours. Um, so this is, let me see, is it going to focus? This is number 78. Tell you what, what I'll try and do is do my swatches. I do swatch sticks and I'll put that on my Instagram. Whether I put it on my stories or on my main grid, I'll put it in like a highlight or something this is number 147 and this is a grey I really wanted a grey um I wanted to really expand my color collection collection selection it's not going to focus I can't bother to tap the screen so yeah I really like that one I needed a black I'm really clearly into black at the moment I think black with a tan looks great um so this is number 161 so I'm happy with the black and then I got some fun summer colours because I thought, why not? So I got number two, which is a neon green. Um, not to everyone's taste, I know, but neon's in at the moment. And I just like, like my nails at the moment, they're like a pop of colour. And with black, I just think it looks really nice. So we've got that one. We've got number 91, which is a really pretty bright fluorescent orange. There we go. And then I've got a nice purple. I've got a lilac. I don't have like a, a proper purple. Um, and that is number 29. So I'll let you know how I find these. And if I think they're good, I'll probably make another order because the price is pretty good. So that's my little gel nail stuff. I also really wanted to fix my brows. I, on a daily basis, I don't tend to wear makeup because I can't be bothered and I don't have the time. But one thing I always do is put wax in my brows just to make them a little bit darker. However, I thought, you know what, sod it, I'm going to get the tattoo brow. My birthday's coming up, I'd like to ask for that. But it doesn't last very long and I studied beauty therapy at, at college and I don't know why I haven't thought about it before. But I really wanted to get um, tinting for my eyebrows because it lasts longer. I sort of know how to do it because obviously I studied it at college so Neil got Ellie to go to Capital which is a place where if you have a beauty therapy qualification like we do you can get discount off of like beauty products so Neil was like Ellie just go and buy what you need or what she needs and then I'll pay for it so we've got the little dish we've got the solution eyelash tint developer but obviously you use this on your brows as well so I can tint my eyelashes as well, so it's multifunctional. This is by the brand Strictly Professional. You can get like kits and stuff on um, eBay. We've got the brush, it's a little angled brush. And then she got me two dyes. So you can do, you can get like brown, light brown, dark brown, black. But she got me brown and black so I can fix it to my own like colouring that I need. So this is what I've got. Is it going to focus? Come on. There we go. So that is what that looks like. So I'm really excited to give this a go. There's the receipts in here in case I didn't like it. Yeah, £16.38. Um, the tint itself was £4.15. The dish was £1.05. The developer was £2.30. And the brush, oh, that was £2.00. But I've got it all now, so the only thing I'm going to need to, I'm not in focus, the only thing I'm going to need to replace eventually is like the solution and the dye uh, or the tint. So I'm really excited to give that a go and just finally not have to worry about putting gel in my brows. And just having like that base and bit of colour. So, and tattoo brow is like, I think it's like 13, 14 pounds. And it doesn't last that long. So now I've got this and I feel like this is better value for money. So I'm so excited to receive this. And then I've got a little, I've got one extra from Primark, which is a little headband. I'm into these at the moment. I know they're so like, I don't know, fashion. they're not fashionable. Are they fashionable? I don't know. I'm not fashionable. Um, I like this one. This one sits on my head a lot better than the black one. Well, having said that, look, it raises. But it's um, leopard print. Got a lot of time for that. So we've got that one. That was £2 from Primark. And then he got me some books and then I can show you what I got in my vouchers today. So I asked for a trilogy of books, which is going to be my, my July book club pick, the first one. Um, and I thought it would be a series that I'm going to enjoy. So I just thought I'd ask for it for my birthday. And that's the Crazy Rich Asians trilogy by Kevin Kwan. 
this has actually been turned into a film and the second one's just been put into production i believe either way they're continuing with the with the trilogy so i thought i would really enjoy reading the books alongside watching the films so i can visualize it and this is like a series i've never read before it's basically about rich asian people living in singapore and traveling around the world and i'm just really interested in reading it so this is a trilogy it was from ebay i know because i told neil where you can buy it and i think it was it was less than 15 pounds so we've got crazy rich Asians, China rich girlfriend and rich people problems. So that's what they look like. I'm so excited to have those. And my final book selection was the thing that I was most excited about. Um, and that is the Cassandra Clare, um, the I was on the tip of my tongue, Dark Artifices. So we've got Lady Midnight and we've also got Lord of Shadows. So this is book one, this is book two. If you've been watching me, you'll know that I've absolutely devoured the Mortal Instruments and Infernal Devices. This takes place after those. So me and Emmy will probably read these at the end of the summer. There's a third book out, but it's massive. Um, it's like, I want to say it's over like a thousand pages and the book itself is really tall so I don't want to own that until they shrink it down into paperback size because I'm funny about books and their heights and the way that they look these are stunning aren't they just look at that I can't wait to put these on my shelf I'm so excited so I know that he got these from WH Smith and I can't wait to read those and then I have a denim jacket that I need to show you but I'll get that right at the end because I can't bother to stand up right now. Um, I'll show you the things that I got from the city because I went to the city this morning with Neil and P. So with my voucher from my mum I got this really pretty t-shirt dress which doesn't look very nice unless it's on. My battery's flashing. Um, and it's this really nice long, it sort of cuts off mid length, it's got little slits, not too big, little slits down at the end. And it's got a cinching in at the waist and it's elastic and it just looks lovely on. I'm not very slim. I've got very big boobs and this just complements me and my colouring really well. I thought it would make my chest look quite big but it doesn't. So this is £10. I got it in a size 14. And I just really, really like this on. I thought it would go with my denim jacket quite well and just a pair of like white Converse. So I picked that up with the voucher that my mum gave me. And then I got... I got a three pack of knickers because, you know, life needs knickers. I got a face mask, which was in the sale, should have been £1.50, went down to 50p. So I thought, nah, why not, mattifying mask. Pink grapefruit, love that. And then, because I love a pair of shades, I got myself three pairs of sunglasses. So I've got these ones, these are £2. I always stock up on Primark sunglasses because once they're gone, they're gone. Look at these, got a lot of time for these. Tortoiseshell, love a pair of shades. I got these ones, I already own these in the black but I wanted them in the tortoiseshell because I really, really enjoy these. I've got like a little detailing here. God, I'm hungry, I need some food. Oh, I've got Chinese in the fridge, I'll eat that. Um, and then these, which are my favorite and they were two pounds. Love these. <laughs> I almost choked on my own spit. What I got from the city and then this afternoon myself and Ellie decided to go to some sea shops because what more would you want to do on your birthday and the sea shop I went into had a sale so I picked myself up some CDs for the car um, so I got it was three for a pound but it was half price so I got all six for a pound. So Katy Perry Teenage Dream we have got Maroon 5 Songs About Jane what a classic love that Again, another classic, Justin Timberlake, Justified. I remember getting this when I was, I think I was in year five at primary school. So I'm bringing it back on my birthday. Uh, Kanye West, love Kanye West, one of my favorites. The College Dropout, Girls Aloud, The Greatest Hits, again, classic. And then Tayo Cruz, Rockstar Collection. Again, bringing it back. So I'm chuffed with those, love a good CD. Charity shops are the best for CDs. So I picked those up. And then finally, again another throwback, The O.C. Two pounds. I've got nothing to watch at the moment. Netflix is rubbish, I'm bored of YouTube, and Love Island's only on once a night. So, 
I'm gonna watch The OC. Why is this not on Netflix? It was two pounds. Um, there's six discs in here. I don't know how long. I've just had to change the battery, so I think my camera's moved position. But this is my new denim jacket. I really needed one because the one that I had was a really small crop one from New Look when I used to work there like six years ago. And it just doesn't fit me anymore. It's too tight and I need to get rid of it. So this one's from Primark. It was £15. I got it in the size, or Neil got it in the size 14 for me. It is a bit big. Um, but I, li I really like it. I don't know how to wear it. I'm so clueless when it comes to like fashion and stuff. Um, but I really like the colour. I think it's a really nice denim. And it's really soft. So he kindly got that for me. Um, which I absolutely love. I just need to learn how to wear it. I think just with a dress for now. And then eventually I'll do like black jeans and stuff. Speaking of black jeans, I forgot to show you with some of my money that I got. I treated myself to a pair of black jeans. If you watch my Primark haul, um, let me move you. Yeah, if you watch my Primark haul, you would have seen that I was going to return the other ones. I kept them. You're on the wonk now. Oh well. Um, I decided to keep the ones that I got in that Primark haul and I just got some new ones from New Look. So I haven't tried them on so I don't know if they're going to fit but I just needed some new black ones because, can you see the colour difference? Look at the knees on that, look, they're like grey. These are Primark and these are the new ones. Um, I've had mine for not that long actually, I got them in October. Um, these should have been £28. 28 pounds from new look they went down to 13 i got them in a 12 because they're stretchy i do fit in a 12 but 14 is where i'm comfortable but never mind so they were in the sale 13 pounds so they've been covered with my birthday money um and they're the jenna brand skinny ankle grazer they've got knees which is what i need i miss having jeans with holes in the knees so I've got these as well, which I'm really, really happy about. I really hope oh, you enjoyed this video. I hope you don't think that I'm bragging or anything with the things that I've got. I just like doing these videos. I've had comments on my Instagram today asking if I'm going to film this video. And it's just something that I like to do. I like sharing the things that I've got. It might give you inspiration to potentially buy someone a gift or might give you inspiration for things that you would like for your birthday or for Christmas. So... And I've also got some good deals like my gel nail colours and my candles and just just little bits. I just love the little bits. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm now going to go tidy all this up, put it all away, and wait for Neil to come home so we can go. I think we're going to go to TGI's tonight. I'm very, very excited. I wasn't expecting my mother-in-law to have pee tonight. So when she texted me, I was like, pee, pee said that she'd like to stay the night for a sleepover. I was like okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna stop waffling i really hope you enjoyed today's video like i said i'm not bragging i'm not showing off i'm just sharing with what i've got i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video